We're going to look at a very well-known posture from yoga down the dog, but we're going to plug the DNS principles um, so that that's what's driving the posture from the inside. So once again, mate, I'd like you to go at one and a half hands lengths. Now, in terms of the distance of the posture, guys, you could you need to experiment. But we have found experientially that it's somewhere between one hand and one and a half hands length to give you the ideal position in downward dog by the time you've pushed backward. All right, so Jordan's got, again, great length between his end points. He's got great fullness in his um, cylinder. Uh, toes under, mate, with the ankles in line with the knee, beautiful. And you're gonna lift the posture. You're gonna bring the hips higher than the shoulders and then you're gonna drive from your big toe knuckle towards your index finger knuckle. So we're going forward so we get the sense of uh, being forward before we push backwards. So it's like this is the experience of a long body or a long and a full body. And now from that index finger knuckle, find your big toe knuckle, little toe knuckle and push backwards. So hips high, hips high. Now by loading the hip complex first, by the time we get to the posterior chain back of the leg we've already said I can't I can't load this complex any further so what it means is we get true eccentric loading in the hamstring and gastroc as opposed to just having a straight leg at the start and then um, pushing back into that without this pre-loading okay there's your hips mate there's your pelvis start to send your heels toward the ground without any intention of thinking you have to get to the ground, they're just going backwards toward the ground. Feel like the back of the knees are going towards the back wall. Keep using the sense of the length of your spine, fullness of your push, to know where you are as the legs begin to open backwards. A little bit more weight into the right ball of the foot, beautiful. Now I'm gonna give you the sense of your feet. Now what I'd like you to do is to say, can I get anything more out of the posture by opening up the shoulder girdle? So now push back from the shoulder girdle to open that up. And now we've got really a terrific sense of opening through the posterior leg, posterior chain. Good, good. A little bit more weight on the right ball of the foot. Very good, very good. Lifting through, yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. So Jordan will be experiencing what's very close to the sense of a 10 in terms of his uh, effort and output. And when you're ready, mate, I'd like you to glide your knees down, keep that spine. Good, good, good. He's using the ball of the foot first to the fifth knuckle to know on the way down and the fullness in the push of the hand. Terrific, well done.